What's up guys? This is Brent with 24-7 Parts and let's talk about the grease points on the John Deere 2038R. Now, maybe not all of your machines are going to be equipped with a front end loader, but if it is, let's go ahead and start there as you are going to have six grease points on either side of your loader. You're going to have two down here where the bucket pins on to the loader itself. We're going to have two here at the mid knuckle and then we are going to have two up here close to where the loader frame actually connects to the tractor. Now we're gonna have those same six grease points on both sides. So making 12 here on the loader itself. Now your next four are actually going to be underneath the tractor. So you are going to be looking first off here at the front axle. So where the front axle actually meets the tractor and where it is going to have just a little bit of pivot and play is going to be called your trunnion. And you are gonna have one on the front of that axle and one on the rear of the axle that we need to make sure and keep greased. Right behind that rear trunnion, we're going to see this plastic shield here. This is gonna be the cover for our four wheel drive drive shaft. And so we need to make sure that we are pulling that cover back, greasing the U joint that is on that drive shaft and then also greasing the U joint that is at the back of that drive shaft back towards the transmission. So we are at a total right now of 16 grease points. We are going to add one more to that list and that is going to be back here at our three point arms. And it is going to be on this adjustment link right here. We need to make sure that we're greasing that. That way that if we are adjusting the tilt of that three point, if we are using this adjustment, we're making sure that is greased and not getting seized up. Now, if we are talking about greasing these machines, the type of grease that we need to be looking looking at is going to be that SD polyurea from John Deere or that HD lithium complex grease or really any type of general purpose grease as long as we are making sure and greasing this machine and taking care of it we should be in good shape now if you need a little bit more information on grease or grease guns i'll make sure to drop links to a couple videos down in the description below but other than that guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are looking for more videos like this make sure to check out the rest of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.